Do you want to be the guy that just walks in and everybody wants to talk to? That everybody desires, everybody wants to be a part of? I thought that was completely unattainable for me. But I'm not there yet. But I've kind of made some progress. And I've done this through a guideline that I want to share with you today. And this is not going to have anything about like things that you can't control. I just want to focus on like the actionable steps. And you can say that the uncontrollable things do matter. But from my perspective, if you, if you can't change them, it shouldn't really matter to you. So the first thing is to understand what desire is. Desire is the understanding that something will benefit you. Like the reason why you desire anything is because you think it will make you better, right? It will make you better or you'll get something from it in any way. And the way to increase what people will get from you is to increase your value. And I think that comes down to a simple equation of what you provide minus what you consume. So the first step in this is just to make sure that what you consume goes to zero. Cut out social media, cut out talking to people you don't care about. These two were like the things that really held me back. And I'll tell you why, like how I know that they held me back. So I used to be on it like almost every day, right? Social media and, you know, talking to people, I just didn't, I just wanted to stay relevant, right? And then finally, I was like, you know what? Let me just stop this. And I decided to create this channel. And I got a th about a thousand subscribers in two months. And I'm not saying that's like, this is crazy progress or anything. Um, I know people have done much better, but what I want you to know is that I haven't even thought about social media. I haven't even thought about people that I just don't think will benefit me and I would just talk to just to stay relevant. I don't even think about those things anymore. It hasn't even crossed my mind for three to five months. And I've only done this. So think about it. I bet and I hope that you desire and wish for so much more success than I've gotten. But how can you expect that if you're checking, you know, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube shorts, talking to people you don't care about, just getting caught up in drama almost every single hour of the day? You should always try to cut out these things that, you know, they give you pleasure. Yeah, but really it comes down to how bad do you want to be desirable? How bad do you want to be fulfilled from doing something great? That's the question. Like I can give you all these methods for cutting out distractions, but it really just comes down to how bad do you want it? The second part to this is being able to provide as much as you can. And I think that you can be break that down into two categories, which are being able to protect and being able to provide status. So being able to protect comes from being physically capable. And that means being strong, you know, not just looking strong with having big muscles. And this is something that I went wrong. I should have been training more for strength, more for lean muscle. And I think that's more important to be more um, powerful when you're talking about sports, when you're talking about fighting. Um, you know, these things are going to be more beneficial than just being a large chunk of meat. Obviously, you want to gain size, but make sure you are gaining a lot more strength. You also want to focus on your health. And by this, I mean your testosterone, the, um, the hormone inside you that allows you to have wide shoulders and a sharp jawline. This is a thing that will make you look better. And how to do this is to eat animal fats, not to eat as much processed food and obviously uh, absolutely no fast food. You want to make sure you're eating organic, a lot of protein. And because this is really a thing that will allow you to grow taller. This is the thing that will allow you to build muscle, build strength. And it will, inside your mind, it will help you understand that effort feels good. You also want to focus on your hair growth. Make sure your hair looks good. Make sure your skin looks good. And make sure you're mewing all the time. Like, this is something that you can do right here, right now. Make sure that the tongue is always at the roof of your mouth. Another thing you can always do is keep a stoic mindset. And what I mean by that is to always have the mindset of questioning what you're actually feeling and asking, is this valuable to me? And the reason for why this even matters, and if you're probably thinking, oh wait, how would anyone even know this if you just walked into the room, is because this shows. It shows if you're an experienced person, if you're calm. Just being naturally calm will always be better than just optimizing your body language. And how to do that is just to push yourself into doing great challenges. Into whatever you feel uncomfortable to do, I would recommend that you push yourself to do it. I didn't want to make this channel but I just remember thinking I have to do this as, you know, part of who I want to be. I want to be someone who pushes myself. And I was like, let's do it. Always try to 
push yourself to do what's more than you feel comfortable doing. Okay, so status. I think the most applicable form of status is probably financial means. And that means just starting businesses, trying to make money on your own. Um, I think if you cut out social media, if you cut out these different things that really distract you, you can do a lot more than you think you're capable of. And that will just help you get ahead. And obviously, just financial means is not the only way to gain status. It's not the only way to feel fulfilled. But I think another way is like through sports, through fighting, through physical activity. But in any way you can, try to be the number one at something. Try to be very, very, very good at doing a specific thing. And I promise you, you'll be able to find that status and you'll find that people will respect you so much more. I hope you got some value from this. As I said before, I'm not this completely desirable man, but I'm trying to work towards being that person. This is the guideline that I'm going to follow. So I hope you found value from this. Go out and conquer.